he would want it to be celebratory. In fact, it's called a celebration. A larger than life figure in Kentucky politics, mourners celebrate the life and legacy of Senator Wendell Ford. Good evening, I'm Rick Van Hoot. I'm Vicki George. The uh, funeral for former Kentucky governor and U.S. Senator was held today in his hometown of Owensboro. Among those in attendance were Vice President Joe Biden and former President Bill Clinton. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us now with how Senator Ford was being remembered today. Mark? Well, they say it was a great tribute. There was, there was solemn, but there was also laughter, and they say Wendell Ford himself would have approved. I loved it when Joe Biden... Uh, said he was going on too long and Wendell would have been telling him to wrap it up because uh, I've been with Wendell Ford a lot of times I'm giving speeches and he'd be over by my by my hip going okay wrap it up wrap it up Attorney General Jack Conway was among the hundreds of family friends and dignitaries who attended Wendell Ford's funeral in his hometown of Owensboro they recalled Ford's humor his energy and his passion for helping others he loved people he fought for them he fought for the people who didn't have a voice and that was really brought out today in the service and I thought the service was a grand service. It was a celebration of a good life. Among the speakers were Vice President Joe Biden and former President Bill Clinton. Biden served with Ford in the U.S. Senate, and Ford held the powerful majority whip position during part of Clinton's presidency. They said it was Ford's ability to build bridges that helped them pass the Violence Against Women Act, the largest crime bill in U.S. history, and Clinton's first budget. So well, here you have the former president, the current vice president, possibly a presidential aspirant himself, and then next door neighbors. So, I mean, if there was ever a blend of the people whom Wendell loved and served, served with great vigor and with great effectiveness, this was the kind of gathering. Through it all, Ford never lost sight of his humble farm upbringing. There were stories about Ford personally calling or writing constituents, and his family was also recognized for their sacrifice, as Ford spent many of his days away in Frankfurt or Washington. And then the little great-grandson, they said that was granddaddy's casket, and they said, no, that's a treasure chest. I mean, that was uh, more poignant words were never spoken. Now, like I said earlier, there was a lot of laughter at this funeral. Here's another good example of Ford's humor. One of the speakers said he went to visit Ford one day and told him he used the Wendell Ford Parkway that runs through western Kentucky. Ford replied, that road is so bumpy, they're mad at me by the time they get here. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Thank you, Mark. Senator Ford's political career started 50 years ago. He served as state senator in 1965. In 1967, he became Kentucky's 45th lieutenant governor. And four years later, Mr. Ford was elected as the state's 53rd governor. He only served three years before being elected to the U.S. Senate in 1974. Wendell Ford spent 24 years representing the Commonwealth in Congress until he retired from public service in 1999.